We are no one. We are everyone. And we are invisible. Race is a big part of America's fabric, race and racism. I've been kind of watching the history about racism. Now everybody's talking about racism. It's not a thing now. It's not an Emmett Till story now. Because everybody's hanging out with everybody. As, as a black uh, uh, person in America, our experience is um, one that we've been taken away from our history. We don't, we, we have to pay money to uh, buy 23andMe to figure out, you know, where we came from and that, you know, you, you gotta laugh not to cry about that. I don't think that there's any room to be uh, um, understanding of the perspective of, of white supremacy, and it's not just in people's behaviors, but it's also in, also in our laws and in uh, institutional rules, and uh, it's deeply, deeply embedded to the fabric of, of, of not only the country, but the world right now. Angela Abar, the character that I play, her story and her legacy and her family is a perfect metaphor for the black American experience. You know, this is a woman that does not know where she's from. And then we find out through her as she finds out, oh wow, this is the first kernel that I have to my, my lineage. I think we've been trying to dismantle white supremacy for a very, very, very long time. I think that the way to do it is, uh, well, one of the ways to do it is to, is, is to be head on. Dude, seriously, like, my mind is blown that there are people that stupid. Really, my mind is just like, I can't believe that there's human beings on the planet that actually are that unintelligent.